This is a quick overview of a Deer 324L wheel loader. Uh, going over the controls and the panel switches in the machine. Uh, obviously ignition switch, turn it to on. Uh, you'll get a message up here to wait before starting and it'll beep at you when it's ready. Get going quick. Just release the parking brake, push that button, and the light on the red parking brake will flash at you. It's gonna stay engaged until you select a gear forward or reverse. So it's not gonna go anywhere until you are ready. Uh, we'll just start down here, park brake we covered. Uh, this is the uh, diesel particulate filter uh, auto will clean itself as needed while you're using the machine uh, if you're in a spot where you don't want the uh, extra heat from the exhaust you can cancel it uh, they recommend not stopping once it's started and then the top one will let you do a parked uh, clean which takes about an hour so you have to park it somewhere safe and the machine will take care of the throttle and all that. It takes about an hour to do. Uh, mode switch. The top half sets the clock on the panel. Uh, the bottom half adjusts the uh, light on the panel. Uh, the next switch over, that's ride control. Uh, the little green teardrop lights up. Uh, it automatically engages over four miles per hour and definitely cuts down on the bouncing going down the road. Uh, next switch. This uh, arms or activates, you press this button forward and then rock the switch. That allows you to disconnect the bucket with a quick disconnect. You use this button here, you press down, it retracts the pins, you have to hold it until you're ready for the pins to re-engage. Once you release it, the quick coupler pins will re-engage. Uh, this button, that'll lock out the hydraulics and that's engaged. Get a nice bright yellow warning up there and that uh, it disables your joystick. Uh, next one over, this is return to dig. Uh, it's a handy feature. Uh, if you bring your loader up and you dump your load, you get ready to go back to the pile and get another load, you just bump the, uh, and that's all it moved. You bump that to the left and it returns it to the position where the bucket will be level when it hits the ground. So if it's higher in the air, you're not gonna see a lot of action when it goes to the right spot. Uh, one word of caution, that dump truck right over there. If you're loading into the, that truck with this, when this is up, and uh, you dump the bucket, hit return to dig, that's all it moved, that's it. It's ready to go back to the pile. Unfortunately, if you put it in reverse, you're gonna take out half the tailgate or the uh, sideboards because it won't clear. So you're gonna have to roll the bucket level back up away from the, the uh, dump truck, drop it back down, and then bump the lever. You're good to go. Uh, works really well for getting the back, bucket back to level because it's hard to see from the operator position. Anyway, yeah, don't take out your sideboards. Uh, this is the uh, float, loader float for smoothing up things. You just engage it. It doesn't turn it on like it does some of our machines. It just engages it. And then to get it to float, just push that all the way forward and release it. And if you don't want that feature active, just leave it off. Uh, dropping down, this is the joystick. This has to do with the auxiliary hydraulics on the joystick. Uh, this is the in normal operation that feathers it. Like if you're using a uh, grapple, you just slowly operate it and it'll 
you know, the more you move it, the faster it goes. Uh, if you're running uh, some type of like a soil separator, we have a hydraulic screen. Uh, you can engage that. That's the button, the indication up there. That's off, that's on. Go down here and hold this three seconds in the direction you want it to go. And it'll should beep at you, but it didn't. Uh -oh. It remembers the last way you used it. Uh, it beep. Now it's on. However, it's all the way back. That was the reverse. It only remembers one direction. If you want it to uh, stay on in the other direction, turn that off, fold that up, and then hit the joystick button again. Now it'll, uh, why you can't go in any other direction, I don't know, but now it'll only lock in the front. Three seconds, and it'll beep at you, and there you go, it's on. Uh, if you want to change it, you gotta turn it off down here, hold this, the other direction back and press the toggle switch and then from then on it'll lock after three seconds but only in the last direction you used it uh, so that's one little quirk that they don't quite mention um this has to do with the amount of rim pull or torque going to the wheels if you're uh, in a slick condition you want to reduce the amount of power going to your wheels just press the top of that button and um, level one, it gives you 80% uh, traction to the wheel. Level two is 65%. Level three is 50% of power to the wheels. And then that's back off. Uh, doubt that gets used very often, but that's what it is. Uh, heat or AC is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, joystick controls. Uh, we went over the quick coupler that's right there and this is the uh, diff lock if you, it only act, operates the front axle the diff lock uh, forward and reverse forward neutral reverse parking brakes on it's disabled and this sticker gives you all the functions and controls and the other panel switches this is the uh, little cheat sheet to tell you what it's for. And we'll go up here to the top. That's normal operation headlight, tail light, uh, rear work light, front light, work light. That's your uh, hazard flashers. The squiggly line turns on the rear defrost. Uh, there's no way to turn it off. It stays on for 15 minutes. The other way to turn it off is turn off the machine. Uh, rear windshield wipers and the uh, turtle button selects the mode for the transmission. God, not really a transmission, but the range selector. Right now it's in automatic, the A1 2 that you see right there. It'll automatically shift between uh, low range and high range as needed. Works great. Uh, if you want to uh, keep it one or the other, hit the turtle button up there. And automatic, one clicks, that's high range. Uh, it's already in low range, it's going to stay in low range, so you get over 11 miles an hour, switch to high range. Next time you stop, it'll stay in high range. F1 is low range, it will stay in low range. A1 and 2, lets the machine pick what it needs works great uh, obviously the accelerator pedal and this they call an inching pedal it's a combination inching pedal and brake pedal uh, if you're going into the pile and want to keep your engine revs high you can depress that and it'll reduce the amount of power going to your wheels give you keep your engine rpm up to use the loader controls if you're approaching like a dump truck to dump your load, you can press that down to slow the machine. 
keep the RPM high to uh, use the loader functions. So engine pedal slash brake, you know, you mash it all the way down, it's going to engage the brake. Um, I think that pretty well covers it. It's a nice machine. I haven't got to use it a whole lot, but I think it's going to do a good job for us.